Cars out uh, 53 no, miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming towards steady up uh, 150 for 33 offset. 50 miles. Now, to call your AGMs, your Mavericks, same thing. Act space, you will go to the same air to ground settings. Go to your right MFD, and there you go. There's your weapon. You have two AGM 65G, and the other ones are four 65Ds. And let's go over these buttons real quick. The first one again is your mode. The pre selected, this will let you go to your sub modes of scanning or locking into targets the visible as soon as you hit visible here it will go to no soy on your left MFB so you're not going to be using that one and you bore sight they will activate your left MFD but you will have now a little cue on your HUD you can move with your cursors and if you can see it is that cross so you basically will move that cross on top of the target and hit zero you see the line of targets all the way in the background yeah. go back to your right MFD and now you can go to your back to your pre-selected mode your inventory again the weapons on board hit it again to go back this will change your type of weapon based on what target you want to hit 65 D's are awesome now this is your power button you need to power on your missiles before they can be fired to get the gyros start spinning so you can get the missile actually working so you just hit it now it says power on and then with a couple seconds you will see the word ready right there next to your weapon now it's ready to fire in real life they'll, this will take about three to five minutes so it's a lot more intense your ripple is just one weapon at a time the position of your weapons three four six and seven on your jet and the steps you can just change it with that button so we're gonna fire on the right wing position number seven now it also has a cover on top of the missile so they cannot be detected so you have to uncage your missiles before you can be fired so you uncage by pressing U and it will show anything. The only way for you to know that your missile is uncaged is because you're gonna go to your weapon button and hit it. If your missile was uncaged, and I'll show you later how it's gonna be, this will not be displayed like this. You will just see a black screen and then you hit U and this will show up. You can see in the background the little targets and let's go to our field of view right here and increase it so we can see better. Expand your view. And you see all the targets over there. It's hard for you to see where they are or if they're friendly or enemies. So you will have to hit zero to stabilize your cursor now you can see that it's moving a lot slower you can search better so now let's say you want to hit that target right there but we don't know what it is you hit zero again and now the, I'm moving the cursor it's not moving anywhere you will have to call your AWACS right now and ask them is this a friendly or enemy by hitting Q and option number two it will be declare and it will tell you if it is a friendly or an enemy to release that target you just hit the dot on your center keyboard and just engage a different one so
so this missile is being ready to fire so let's see if I can lock into a target and fire so I'm gonna do that one zero it's not moving I'm gonna zoom out and let's see how this works so let me unfreeze these here we go, you're gonna hold your pickle button. And there it goes. And if you wanna follow your weapon with shift 7. There it is, it's going. And there you are, that's so your AGM camera chassis. The AGM. ADA HARM high speed anti radiation missile. It's a primary weapon for the seed operations and is used for SAMs and ships. You can call up your harm missiles with the backspace. You will see this screen. And they work with the HTS harm target system. And it will display four different types of targets. The bright S for SAM site is telling you that the radar is transmitting or emitting energy and the dim one it, the threat is known to the HTS but is not currently transmitting radar energy. The other two are the numbers which is different kinds of SAM sites or radar and when any of those are blinking it means that they are launching a missile at you at somebody nearby you now this screen displays your HTS harm threat system your TVLY is a static stage and this stands for table threat one and the type of weapon right there your power is on the weapon is on and the location of the weapons also you can increase or decrease your range by 30 15 or 16 and they will show you where most of the SAM sites are located. Now to lock into a target you just move your cursor right there and place it on top of the target. This is your steer point graphic. If you go to the HSD you will see that it looks the same. Put the cursor on top and hit zero on the numeric keypad and track it there it is and to fire you're just gonna click space and hold it down here we go let's see if we get a hit there it goes it looks like it's gonna hit it oh that's it people, the next tutorial will be basic fighter maneuvers and missile trap reaction. Fly safe.